there. Welcome to Coffee with Coastal Cheryl. Today, this one's big. It's going to be all about my very favorite vase and flower combinations. And this is something you guys ask me about a lot. You, you buy a flower and you want to know what vase goes with this or just the opposite. You buy a vase and you're like, what flowers can I use for this? So I'm going to show you my very, very favorite combinations. So settle in. This is going to be a huge one. Get something to drink. I've got my iced coffee as always. Yours doesn't have to be iced, but gosh, isn't it the best? All right, let's get started. First of all, if you love peonies, these are so affordable. They are from Mandy's and they come in a ton of different colors. This one is spring orange. And what I love about the, these particular peonies, well, first of all, look at them. Aren't these pretty? Really nice, but they come two to a set. So when you order these, which I didn't even realize, although it shows two clearly in the photo, <laughs> I didn't realize I might have ordered like, you know, four. <laughs> but anyways, these come, look at that. When you combine them, it really makes a nice big bouquet and they're extremely affordable. Again, tons of colors. And I love them with this vase because it doesn't get any easier than this. Again, these are in, um, you know, a bunch, but you can cut them if you want. And then if you want to fuss with them, you know, feel free. But all I do is I drop them in here and I am done. I love this vase. It's perfect. It's uh, nice. It's got a nice tall presence. And what I love about it too is that it has a really wide mouth. So that means that the flowers can kind of splay out and display themselves really in a nice way. One of my favorite flowers. Now let me show you a totally different flower that I love for this vase. These are hydrangeas. I'm going to show you uh, two different hydrangeas today. This one, I mean, is crazy affordable. Look at this. It's, it, they look better when they all go in their face. <laughs> all right, look. I mean, it's that easy, you guys. Look. I mean, these are so pretty. This color is lilac. Again, I will link everything below in the order which I show up. But look at these. How pretty are these? Again, this color is lilac. But here's the weird thing about these. When these come to you, I, when, when I first pulled my first ones, I, the white ones are the ones I ordered first. And I'll show you those in just a minute. But when I ordered mine, I pulled it out of the box and it's like this. Stems in one part of the box and then these totally squished up flower heads in the other and I'm like okay I'm returning those luckily today every single thing is from Amazon so if you hate anything you know easy returns I love that about Amazon but look you guys be patient just put the stem in and then do that that's it how long did that take me see it spreads the flower out you drop it in a vase and it's good to go. I mean, I just was shocked at how easily these were to spread out. So don't be discouraged when you first pull them in the box and you see they're, you know, two different things. All right, now look at these. These are dusty pink. Love this color again. And you can tell I'm not arranging these. They're not even even in the... All right, I'm just gonna drop them in and look how pretty those are. Just really a soft, soft color. Again, this one is the dusty pink. I showed you the dusty blue and they're so affordable, you guys. Love these. All right, let me show you a couple other colors while we're on it. Oh, I didn't show you the dusty blue. I showed you lilac. The first ones I showed you were lilac, then dusty pink. These are dusty blue. And they have that fabulous blue color that hydrangeas are famous for. Aren't those pretty? Again, love these. This is what one order looks like. Now, the very first ones I bought were actually white. And I love them so much, I bought two orders once they came in. This is what two orders looks like. Is that huge or what? Look at that. I mean, if you're looking for... You know a lot of bang for not much money look at this all right <laughs> I mean 
what not to love you guys and you can see I didn't do any arranging I just put them in now if you wanted to you know to pull the, the center ones up a little higher you could but is that fabulous perfect for the middle of your dining room table a coffee table your kitchen counter I love these on the kitchen counter but really a fabulous combination this vase these flowers perfection all right let's move on Boy, my kitchen is going to have a lot of flowers on the floor today. <laughs> All right, now look at these. I love these two. You know, I'm going to try not to say that because, you guys, I love all of these. I really do. Hopefully, I don't break anything today. I don't do a lot of editing. I like to just show them. If I make a mistake, I leave it in. All right. Hopefully, I won't break anything. All right. You guys, I you know if you again if you follow me here or Instagram or my Amazon storefront, you know I love decorating with eucalyptus. I have decorated with some other brands of eucalyptus, and once I ordered this brand, I literally am getting rid of my others because this one is my favorite now, and this is why. When you get eucalyptus stems, they usually come in single stems like this, or they come in a bunch like this. What I love about this particular order of eucalyptus is you get all of these. You get all of these uh, individual stems and two bunches. So, I mean, that is such a good value. I mean, I don't even use these all together. These I love in this vase set right here. These are from Creative Co-op. It comes with this wood tray, which I love. And these are just simple glass clear vases and just how fabulous do they look with just this touch of green. One of my favorite combinations. Now let me show you the way that I use the eucalyptus bunches. This particular vase, look, I just got it. I don't even have the sticker off it yet. But look at this. This is from Mud Pie. I love it because it's very irregular. It's kind of, see how it's sort of irregular and kind of wonky looking? It makes it look really old. I love the color. It looks like it's something that, you know, you've had forever. Now what I do is I take these bunches and what I'm gonna do, and when they first come out of the box, they're a little more upright than this, but again, they're all flexible, so just pull them out. What I do is I'm just gonna crisscross them a little bit so then they make a nice, display simple as that isn't that pretty but look at that this works because the bottom of this vase is large it's wide and then it might be hard to find flowers that really work because the mouth isn't very big so you have to choose carefully when you've got one like this and this works and what I really like is you notice both of these you don't, you know, you don't just notice the stems, you don't just notice the vase, you notice both of them. So, you know, nothing gets taken away from the vase. They complement each other really well. A fabulous combination. All right, next, my favorite vase set. Again, if you follow me, you've heard this one before. <laughs> I love this vase set. It was out of uh, stock for like nine months. I'm so glad it came back. Again, one of, no, this is my favorite as far as vase sets. Look, it's ceramic. It looks like wooker, wooker, it looks like wooker. <laughs> this is one of those mistakes I'm not editing out. <laughs> See the rope around the, the uh, top of it? I love this. Again, it's ceramic, really nice quality. And this works for coastal decor, farmhouse, neutral, boho. You could even do modern if you take the rope off. But I love this vase combination. Again, look at the color on that, you guys. I don't know if this is doing it justice, but these are so pretty. And I'll tell you, just about any flower you put in here is going to look fabulous. This, a lot of flowers work really well in this vase. But I particularly love these simple daisies. These daisies are all individual stems. You can see, I don't even, they're not, you know, I haven't arranged them in any way. And I just drop them in. And it helps if you get them actually in the vase. All right, let's try that again. You just drop them in and look how cute that is. I love the just kind of informal vibe. I usually have these on my entry counter I, I, or, or my entry cabinet. I just set them like that in the corner. I love the way they look. They just say welcome. Welcome. 
welcome. Come on in. Take your shoes off first, but come on in. <laughs> I love these. Aren't these just fabulous? And again, really affordable. This is two sets of the daisies. All right. Next, if you're looking for some muted colors, this is just a fabulous combination. First, this base set. Look at these. So pretty. Let me just pull these out. These are kind of a shiny white on the top and they've got some texture to them. But what I really, what makes this work for me is this bottom. It's a tan color. It's really rough and I love the way these look together. I mean, I just think these are pretty with even without flowers. Look how pretty those are. Again, fabulous farmhouse, coastal, neutral, boho. It's all works. Some modern totally would work. I cannot think of any kind of Unless you did real, real traditional, I just think these are going to work with anything. Now what I love is this particular little set. This is one set. These are lamb's ears. And all I did was just spread them, you know, divided them. I don't even know if I did it evenly. And then I just drop them down in there. How cute is that? And again, you don't have to use them together, but I kind of like the way it looks with the shorter one in front love these it's a great combination again you have the dusty soft lamb's ear and then the muted tones of the vases just works great next i love this vase and it's funny because i'm including it in flower and vase combinations and when i first got it i never even put a flower in it look at this let me share this with you it is made of polonia wood. If you guys go to like the really high end home decor shops or even the high end online shops, you've recognizing this wood. You'll see vases in this, you'll see trays in this. It's just a lovely, lovely wood. It is um, really sustainable because it's fast growing, relatively lightweight, and I love the grain in this. This is just one piece of wood and each one's going to live, lo look different, which I love that. You know, it gets, really gives you uh, a unique feel. I bought it for my bookcase and I had never intended to put flowers in it at all. I put it on the bookshelf and I thought, man, this looks fabulous, right? So I started sharing it over on Amazon. I do lives over there. And um, by the way, uh, you can find me anytime just go out to Google and type in Coastal Cheryl on Amazon and you'll see my Amazon storefront and you can uh, shop my Amazon finds there. But anyway, uh, I got this and I loved it and I started sharing it and then people said, well, what kind of flowers can I put in that? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't think of anything. So one day I was getting ready to uh, share it again and literally five minutes before the live, I thought, oh my gosh, they're gonna ask me this question again. So I was walking past some flowers and I literally just grabbed them. I thought, I wonder if these would work. And this is what I walked past. Now, just generally, I wouldn't think these would work that well, but this is why they do. Look at the bottom of this. See this? It's a large vase, but the top is very small. So it's kind of hard to, you know, really find flowers that work well. But again, these are bunches. Um, you can buy these in bunches of four or two bunches with eight. I got the two bunches. And what I did literally just a couple minutes before my Amazon was shove them down in there. And the heavens opened up. Birds started singing. Look at these, you guys. I mean, how fabulous is this? And I'm telling you, I never was going to put flowers in these, but I love this combination. Look at that lavender. I mean, it's gorgeous. It works because one, the vase is such a pale color. This gives you a really nice bold pop, but the shape is so pleasing. You've got that hourglass shape. And again, a lot of flowers are not gonna work in this vase, but this bunch does. And I found another bunch. <laughs> Look at this one. These work too. It's funny, uh, you know, I love finding different stuff and with, you know, fall, I thought, you know, I like to, you know, use some yellows and look at this. Again, this is, they come in four bunches. So these work. You just put them in there, drop them down and you're done. It doesn't get any easier than that. But again, two very different looks with the lavender or the sunflowers. Really, really pretty. Look at that. Love these. All right, next, roses. 
Roses, I think, are hard to find. It's hard to find good roses. I have found two brands that I really like. Well, first, let me show you my favorite vase for roses. This is one of those that looks kind of fancy, but it's really, it's just glass. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? I love this. Um, this reminds me of the kind of uh, vase my mom might have had in her house, and she also loved roses. So I think maybe that's why I love the combination. Just something really retro about these and beautiful. All right, this is the first vase up. Um, roses I'm going to show you. These are from Mandy's. I have them in white and pink, so there's two orders there. But look at the detail on those. Can you see how the little petals are kind of bent down? So pretty. And again, when you first take them out of a box, like 90% of every flower or plant I've ever ordered, it doesn't look that great. Take them out, you know, just give them some time to breathe and then they'll come back to life. What I like to do is just, I take them out, I drop them down in a vase and I don't even look at them for 24 hours. Then they, you know, you go in there the next day and they're all just lovely like that. Isn't that pretty? All right, now this is what they look like. Again, drop these down. I probably would go with all the same color, but I wanted to show you the difference in the white and the pink. It's, this is a nice combination. And again, you could stagger these, you know, you could snip them off and have differing heights, put the taller ones in the center, but I kind of like them just like this. Uh, speaking of tall ones, look at this next set of roses. These are like what I think of when I think of uh, the traditional long stem roses. I mean, look at these. These are huge. Again, I have two sets. I have the white and the pink. Again, really pretty, more like of an old fashioned rose. Look at the shape on those. Aren't those pretty? And if you want, you could leave them just like that. I mean, really, really pretty. But if you want to stagger them, it's real easy. You could just, you could cut this or you can just, what I do is I just bend it and then I would start staggering around here, like around the front, and then, you know, stagger every so often, and then just, you know, make uh, various heights, and it's just really a nice combination, but really fun to play with, really a nice set. Now this same vase, you're gonna fall in love with these, you guys. I love these lilies look this is what one set looks like and you could just you know one order you could drop it in like that that looks good right or you could buy two orders and think okay that's it that's it right there you guys look fabulous right or you can be a little bit crazy like me and get three because Look at that, you guys. Seriously, if you love lilies, it doesn't get any better than these. But let me warn you, again, when you open the box, I was so disappointed. I opened the box and like two of the heads were just gone, completely off of here. I found them loose in the box, but then what I found out is these pop off just really easy. So no big deal. If you're, you know, again, they're not gonna do that unless you're, you know, handling, move them around a lot or whatever. But if they do, you just push them right back in. No big deal. But look at these, you guys. I, one of my very favorite flower combinations. I love the glass vase. It's just see-through. It doesn't take away anything from these flowers. I mean, are these superstars or what? And they're really affordably priced. Again, this is three sets, but one set looks really nice. Don't overspend. But aren't these pretty? I really, I just, I love these love these. If I could give these 10 stars, I would give these 10 stars. They only come in this color though. I wish they came in others. All right, speaking of lots of colors, these tulips, these come in tons of colors. First, let me show you this cute vase set. I just got these. These, This is all texture. It's not just paint. Let me show you up close. I love that combination of the kind of soft, putty tan color and the off-white. And what I really love about these two is they have wide mouths. And that's something that's really especially helpful 
if you want your flowers to kind of splay out and you know so always look for that when you're looking for flowers uh, flower vases make sure you check the vase because there's a lot of really cute ones that just have got, you know a little tiny vase and you stick your flowers in and it kind of like soldiers but <laughs> this one works really well I'll just drop these in I mean again I'm not fussing with them uh, this is what this is one order of the tulips this is another order they're usually around 20 in a set um, I have these in tons of colors uh, I have them in pink this is the pink obviously I have them in yellow I have them in a gorgeous gorgeous dark dark purple I should have brought them out here to show you they're just stunning and then I have them in the white which I'm going to show you next but how beautiful are those this again a very very versatile base set I really like these now again if you follow me you recognize this old faithful <laughs> when i first bought these tulips i bought them in white i thought you know i just and i think it's the first white flower i ever bought i usually you know go, go with colors i think i'm gonna give these a try it was one of the very first if not the first artificial flowers i ever bought because i don't like them for years i do now but for years artificial flowers were horrid you guys know what i'm talking about but now they're so good look at these and let me again let me split them up because this is two orders let me show you and you already probably know what i'm gonna say this works because again the mouth of this is so big look at that if you really want flowers to spread out this is the perfect vase for that from sullivan's it's like a farmhouse pitcher vase I think it's just wonderful one of my favorite vases I think it would work in any home decor but especially coastal farmhouse and neutral you guys my three favorites but I love this I would totally do this in modern I, I would do this anywhere I love this but look, again I love you don't have to fuss with the look see that's just one set those look great I love the way that looks so pretty they can spread out you don't need two sets but I, I also like the way it looks with two sets. But just a beautiful, beautiful combination. One of my very, very favorites and so easy. I love this just in the center of a table, especially a round table, so pretty. Pampas grass, I'm loving pampas grass lately. Well, I've always loved pampas grass. I've, I've actually always had pampas grass, like real pampas grass in my yard. Um, I spent most of my life in either Michigan or Indiana. I had pampas grass in, in both those locations and now we're in Florida and I've got all kinds of pampas grass behind my pool. I love it. So I'm kind of fussy about it. Now this is one of my favorite pampas grasses. Well actually for this size, this brand is my favorite pampas grass. I'm going to show you in this vase. My second favorite vase set, these are so cute. Let me pull it real close so you can see. See the speckles on there? It looks like the old-fashioned uh, enameled bakeware, you know, the speckled stuff, but it's not. It's ceramic. It has a rope handle. I love this. I mean, I think these look fabulous with nothing in them. And look at this one. So cute. I mean, just look at that. Isn't that just going to look great wherever you put it? I love these. But if you want to, you know, make it a little cuter, add pampas grass. And I, I personally just put it in one of them. This is what one set looks like. I put them together. And I think that's just a fabulous combination. I think this particular color looks really well with this because it brings out some of the same tones as the rope. So really a really nice combination. I also have uh, the pampas grass in white. Let me show you the white. Now this is two orders. So I'm going to show you if you want to go, you know, go big. Now see, you can do that. I mean, that's that's pretty darn bold. <laughs> I mean, I love the way this looks. It's just, I don't know, just something so dramatic and elegant about that. Now let me show you this exact same pampas grass in a different vase, and you're going to get a completely different vibe. Look at this. First of all, look at the detail on that. Is that beautiful? I love this. It um, and it has like wire reinforcement around the top, the, the edges, the bottom, so it's not going to collapse in on itself. Really a nice quality. Now look, I 
I love this. I had to quit saying I love this. I can be a drinking game. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot every time she says, I love this. No, don't do that. All right, here we go. Look at that. Again, all I did was drop them in. Now, this is two orders, but I love the combination because you have the kind of dark, warm brown, and then the beautiful, beautiful, elegant white, which is just really just fabulous. I love this just centered in a table. Anywhere where you just want people to notice it, they're going to notice this. Isn't it pretty? There's just something so, I don't know, fun, boho, elegant, all, all of the words. I really like this combination. Earlier, I showed you some really affordable hydrangeas. I really love them. Now, here are some that are still affordable, but they are higher in price. But look at these. These are gorgeous. And this is the weird thing. Well, first, look how long they are. So you can even use them for floor bases. But when they first come, like I was saying, so many of them, these are all looking like this. They're just squished in the box. One of my pet peeves. But again, like the others, all you have to do is spend a few seconds and then look, you have a lovely hydrangea. These come in a ton of colors although their colors are a little bit weird. This one, I actually had to put a tag on it because I thought, I'm never gonna remember that. I mean, what color would you call that? I would call that like a dark pink. They call it purple. So again, I will have these all in the order. This is the purple one, even though it, it doesn't look it, but you can look at the photos when you go to the, um, the link and you can tell which is which just the the names are a little weird all right now what i did with these is i used these in three different vases and all i did was cut the stems to the levels i want and let me show you what a difference it makes all right these are the light pink and when they come to you you get a set of three so this is what um one order looks like again these are the light pink, aren't those pretty? I just, I love these. I, I know, I gotta find a new phrase, but I really do love these. But I especially love these. These are my favorite, don't tell the other flowers, look. Now this is purple. Isn't this gorgeous? I think they might be called light purple, but again, these are so distinctive, you won't be able to miss them, and I will have them linked. Look at these. Let's call them light purple. Are they gorgeous? This is three orders because I wanted this to be really, really full. And notice these vases. All of these are in these glass vases. See these? They've got like little air bubbles. They've got little handles on them. There is a perfect combination because you can see these pretty stems and they also allow the flowers to spread out. So that is what these two look like. Now look at this. Again, this is going to be three sets and this is going to be the largest in the vases. Here's the small vase. This is what one set looks like. Here's the medium vase. And this is again, three orders. And then here are the wide ones. Again, three orders. And again, no fuss, drop them in and you're done. Once you figure out what height you want them, now you could, if you wanted to, you could leave like taller ones in the middle. You know, if you wanted to stagger them, I just kind of roughly cut them at the same height and drop them in because that's the look I was going for. But fabulous hydrangeas. My favorite hydrangeas by far. Love these. Again, all of those are going to be linked. All the colors. You can't go wrong with those hydrangeas. They are so pretty, but not real. When they come out of the box, they're just kind of squished. All right, look at this combination. If you follow me, you've seen this one a lot. Let me get this out of the way. This is usually on my dining room table. I love this vase. I have actually I have this in two sizes. I'll show you the really, really big one coming up. But this is all recycled glass. The larger one looks exactly like this, but a lot bigger. And then these are the eucalyptus. I love to put in these. You pull them out of the box, you spread them out a little bit, like here's what one stem looks like. Just spread it out a little bit. You could spread it out more than I did. And then just drop them down. 
And again, I think the reason these work so well is you've got a large vase. And then, so you don't, you know, you want something fairly big or it would just kind of get lost. Look at that. Love this. It's on my dining room table all the time. I love it. It's just a simple green and it goes really well with this pretty vase. Now let me show you. This is the same vase, but way bigger. Look at this one. See, look at, look at the difference. I mean that, this one. It took me a while to buy this one. I kept thinking, do I really want this? Well, yes I do. <laughs> because let me tell you why. It is perfect for cherry blossom stems. You guys, look at this. Again, same, same vase, 100% recycled. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely love it. <laughs> I mean, isn't this cool? I just love the way this looks with nothing in it that that didn't do my hair any good but i put these these also come these are uh, faux cherry blossom stems look how tall these are and again cut them to however you know whatever length you want but i knew i wanted them a full length they also come in pink this is two sets they come four to a set and all i did again because this is huge i dropped them down and you have a perfect arrangement. I love these right in the middle of the kitchen counter for spring or in the middle of your table. So, so pretty, absolutely perfect. It just doesn't get any better than that. Again, these come in pink also. All right, now let me show you. If you don't want something quite that tall, I use these exact same flowers in this vase again by Sullivan's this is another farmhouse picture this is the taller one and what I do is I literally just bend this well, I might even bend it a little bit more I very often use it on top of the cabinet in my dining room see how that's already kind of floating out there but bend these however whatever length you want you know whatever base you have but you can see 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 where i'm going here and i put those all the way around and again you could put this in the middle of your counter you could back it up to a cabinet i just love this look love the graceful arch and again a really a versatile way to use the exact same flowers i you know if i was going to leave them in here all the time i would just go ahead and cut it but since i like to you know use them in a variety of vases i just bend them and then just spin them right back out. So really versatile, nice combination. All right, here we go. We're coming down the home stretch. These are so big. They're actually kind of hard to show. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, this, these, again, these are statement pieces. This is the uh, same company, but a different base. It says Cabernet on it. This is all like raised lettering. It looks like, you know, some old thing you got from Italy. But isn't this cute? It's actually, these, these are all, I think, Spanish glass, if I'm not mistaken. But what I love these with are these orchids. Let me see if I can show you. Look at that. These orchids come in white, my favorite, also in yellow and pink. They come four to a set. Again, they're kind of squished when they come out of the box. So be patient with them. But look at these. Again, you totally bendable so you can you know arch these however you want or make it more upright it's up to you now i'm not done with this base i'm gonna show you one other thing i do with this but i love you guys these orchids are such a good deal these are such a good deal and again they also come in pink and yellow i love the whites but when i pull them out of the box i'm like mm, i don't know because again they're really pretty flat looking but again drop them in a vase be patient. All right, let me show you. You should see my kitchen floor here. <laughs> All right, now here we go. All right, remember, I'm going to use that again. But look at this. How awesome is that? I love this. Oops, it's falling out. Let me show you this first. Ugh. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? I actually took a towel and watered it up. You can't see it, it's a dark towel, to raise these up a little higher because they fell down too far in them. 
So anytime you've got a vase, you can just add stuff to it. No one's never going to know. And then you'll get the perfect height. But then when I drop these down in there, I have this in the corner in my living room. See, now I've got this height. And then I let them all spread out. And then you can see a couple of them have dropped through. i got to pick them up and place them back again. But I love this combination of this vase and this pampas grass. It also comes in a white. I mean, look how pretty that is. You don't even need to put anything in this. I mean, I think this is just gorgeous. And honestly, I'm surprised it's not more expensive than it is. This is really a great find. Now, here's one last thing I love with this exact same pampas grass. I showed you my favorite short pampas grass. This is my favorite tall pampas grass. Look at this. Remember this? I love this combination. Again, what I'm going to do, see I drop them down and then I just spread them out a little bit. And look, you guys. I mean, put that on your floor. Put, if you've got tall ceilings, put it in on, like on a table, in your kitchen counter, wherever you want it. Is that gorgeous? I love this combination. It's just so pretty. The pampas grass is dramatic, and then the, the, uh, this vase is, you know, it's big enough that it can carry the pampas grass and not give it overwhelm, and I love the lettering on it. And that is it! I hope you enjoyed this one because I really made a mess of my kitchen. <laughs> That's what I should show you of is a video of all these flowers on my floor. But again, you guys, I'm so happy you joined me. This is number two of my series of home decor combinations. In other words, what looks good with what. I really appreciate you joining me. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of stuff. I mean, I love sharing this kind of stuff. It is absolutely nothing short of an honor to help you make your house a home. And I will see you next time.